for practice to help my team build out from the back in our 4231. Uh, do you have something that will challenge them physically and tactically? Yes, this practice would be suitable when your players are well rested, ideally match day minus three. We split the area up into four vertical channels with centre backs, full backs and central midfielders confined to build against three strikers and two midfielders in an 8v5 attacking overload, including the goalkeeper. Get players to maximise this three-player overload to create angles to progress play and finish in one of two mini goals. If Blues win the ball, they must counter to score. Okay, quite straightforward function here. We like our fullback to come inside like some of the top teams have been doing recently. Perfect. When the ball is in the opposite half, we can encourage our fullback to play in the central area, providing an extra option to combine inside. We can see how this gives the opposition winger a problem. Do they come inside to press, or do they keep their shape to maintain balance? Yes, this works great. It's all about timing. What about creating more of an overload in deeper areas? They do have three strikers, so we could do it with our midfielders being more involved in the build-up. We can encourage our centre-backs to split wider, creating space for one of our central midfielders to drop in, almost creating a back three plus goalkeeper. This encourages our number 10 to also drop deeper to connect in midfield if they need to. This may leave space for our fullback to advance if they maintain width as shown. These are great pictures for my players to grasp, but see how they get on 